Hello there, ladies. Today I'm here to share with you three important things to think about when the chemistry with a man is super hot and super irresistible. I'm Michelle Marchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm so glad that you're here. Now, one of the things I hear so often from women is how important it is that they're attracted to the man that they're with. Well, of course it's important to you. It's like that irresistible holy grail. And it feels so good when there's that physical attraction and that connection, and it can even feel like love. It can even feel like in an early stage of a relationship that there's a much deeper connection there than actually there is, because that kind of connection hasn't yet had the chance to develop. But because the chemistry is so hot, and because it feels so irresistible, and because it feels so good to be desired, and to feel that passion, and that kind of physical connection with a man, to be attracted to him in that way, it can really be hard to keep things balanced. So I always say it's important to balance your head, your heart, and your hormones. Those three. And when the hormones take over, which often happens in a chemistry-laden experience with a man, sometimes it can block the clearer thinking of the head, and it can make you think that you're already in love. Now, chemistry is important to men, too, but it's also really important to women. And of course, I understand and I'm certainly not saying you don't want to have chemistry with the man, that you don't want to have attraction to the man that you're with. It's really important for most women. However, I want you to keep a few things in mind, especially if there is a chemistry type connection and that kind of physical attraction with a man that you meet. First of all, it takes time to establish a relationship and really get to know someone. And so even if there's that physical connection that can make you feel like you're in love, you really don't know who this person is, and you really don't know what's going on in terms of the potential of this relationship if it's really centered around chemistry right out of the, the gate. And what I find is for a lot of these relationships that start out like a flaming, raging, crazy forest fire, where it just feels like the passion kind of takes over and takes control. Those things can rage and burn for a while, but what happens more often than not is somewhere down the road, you're going to find yourself lying there in the dust, smoke, and ashes, wondering what happened when that flame burns out. This happens so frequently and can often leave women feeling hurt, bewildered, and frustrated, um, wondering how in the world they got so caught up in something when there wasn't really the foundation to sustain the relationship. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, chemistry is important, attraction is important, but it's really important to recognize that many of these kinds of relationships are built on fantasy. It's like the Pulp fiction kind of uh, romance novels, movie titles, um, the romances, that kind of the rom coms sometimes that you see in, uh, or romance movies that you see on the big screen. A lot of these are that see each other from across the room, or maybe a little tension and then they fall madly in love, and there's this crazy, crazy chemistry. In fact, I can remember once a man that I was dating uh, telling me that he didn't think that we were really compatible because it didn't feel like a movie, like it wasn't going like a movie. And I'm like, what does that even mean? That we fall in love and everything works out and everything is wonderful within 90 minutes? I don't even know what that means. But I think sometimes these kinds of the, the, the way that these things are portrayed on the big screen and movies and books, things like that can lead to those kind of expectations. So first of all, you have to remember a really strong chemistry laden relationship without the foundation of really getting to know each other underneath it can be based in fantasy. 
And it's really important that you stay grounded in reality if you don't want to end up lying there in the smoke, dust, and ashes somewhere along the way. Now, this doesn't always happen. Sometimes there's that crazy chemistry and people do have a chance to get to know each other and find compatibility. But a lot of times it does happen if it's just centered around chemistry. Because the second thing I want you to remember is chemistry does not necessarily equate to compatibility. And that's really important to know. In fact, I would say in my years of dating, uh, since I became a first time bride at age 43, I had many years of dating. In my years of dating, the man I was most physically attracted to, and when he kissed me, it made my toes curl, was someone that I was completely and totally incompatible with. We were a disaster together, and it would have been a nightmare if we would have ended up together. But the physical attraction and the chemistry was definitely there, but it didn't have the compatibility factor in terms of our personalities, our values, and what we really wanted in life to support and sustain a long-term relationship. So the third thing that I want you to remember is if you want a long-term relationship or marriage with a man, it's really important that you have a chance to catch your breath, even if the chemistry is really hot, really irresistible, and you are excited and that's fun, it's really important to be able to have the time to get to know a man's character. Is this someone you feel safe with? Is some, this someone you trust? Is this someone you can count on? Is this someone who's showing up in your life in a way that lets you know that this is the kind of person that you could really spend your life with. Now, of course, women can make a choice to get caught up in the chemistry and have a fling, but if you're wanting a long-term committed relationship, partnership, or marriage, and that's your goal, getting caught up in that without taking the time to get to know someone, assess the compatibility, find out if this is a man of character that you'd want to be with and get to know better and potentially spend your life with. If you allow the chemistry to override all of that or you allow the hormones to override the, the thinking in your head and make you think that you're in love because your body is feeling all of those chemicals and hormones going on, then it can sometimes lead to heartbreak. So I wanted to talk to you about this because it's something that comes up so often, something that's talked about frequently but I just wanted to emphasize some of the key reasons that it's important to allow yourself, especially in the early stages, stages of a relationship, to have a chance to catch your breath, to have, your, to have a chance to, if you need to, slow down the temptation to let the physical relationship go too fast, too far, so that you don't get chemically and, and hormonally bonded to a man prematurely before you have a chance to get to know if this is a man that you admire, respect, trust, and feel safe with. Because I'm here to serve you and I want you to have the relationship of your dreams. So let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments below and be sure to like the video if you've liked what I've said and if this resonates with you. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be releasing regular content and I want to stay connected with you. Okay, bye-bye for now. Talk to you soon.